Hi, and right now I'm showing you my new game. It's a top-down shooter. It's not finished yet, but um, it's pretty far along. Uh, it has a couple basic sound effects, uh, arcade mode, mission mode, and a tutorial. Uh, the only problem is it only has four levels. I'm going to be adding four more, only because this is meant as a short arcade game, not a total... It's not meant to have a plot. Um, it's more of an arcade top-down shooter type of thing. Uh, it's called Top Bounty. This is temporary. I may change the name. I couldn't think of one, but that just kind of came up in my head. I'm probably going to change it later. Uh, right now, the main menu consists of Easy, Normal, and Hard, which are the eight arcade versions. You Basically, it's uh, one level, and you go through that one level, and each level's different, different layout and whatnot, different amount of enemies, but the concept's the same, get to the end. Uh, and you shoot everything in your way. And mission is all the same three levels, but in a row, and the object isn't to get a high score, it's to finish the levels. So I'm going to show you uh, mission just because it consists of all three levels. Now, uh, the sound effects I currently have are I'm working on a walking one. I need to cut it a little bit more. And the only real finish one is a shooting sound effect. You hold down the uh, left mouse button to shoot. WSAD keys to walk or arrow keys so it's left or right handed control. Um, each level is consists of four little sectors. Each sector has several enemies, a couple ammo cartridges, which each give you ten more ammo. Uh, if you look here, you can see my score is 15, health is 100, and ammo is 62. Each little cartridge that I pick up is ten more. And uh, the graphics aren't that great. Um, they're a little bit better than the alpha graphics, obviously, but they're still just beta. I'm debating how to change the characters or whether or not to just change them a little bit. Um, here's the end of the first level. You do not have to go through all the rooms in a level. You don't have to kill everyone. In arcade version, all that matters, it, all that it matters is your score. Uh, you can see my health went down just then to 95 because I touched a guy. It doesn't go by 5 every time, it can go down by much more. It goes by 1 for every, like, split second you're in contact with him, so... It, goes to, it, it seems like fast, but it's really not. Um, also, the difficulty, the way it matters, is um, how the levels change and how fast they die. For instance, it takes 5 shots to kill a person on easy, uh, 10 to kill him on normal, and 20 to kill him on hard, but they each give more points. Every shot it takes to kill them is equal to the one point it gives you back. So it's kind of worth it in the end. Uh, any leftover health at the end of a level in arcade version um, is added to your score. I'll probably show you easy arcade just because that'll be nice and quick. Uh, but for now I'm just going to finish up this level of the mission and uh, I'm just kind of breezing right through this, not stopping to kill everyone. Alright, and the last level hard. I'm just thinking about walking through here, so I don't really... Obviously it takes too much time to kill these guys. It takes 20 shots, and I just don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. I'll kill one guy. Uh, there aren't any really bugs with the engine. It's mostly graphical bugs or uh, adding new features that has to be done with the game. Um, I'm thinking about making the bullets a darker color so you can see them better. Uh, I'm debating whether to add different types of ammo cartridges, some that give 20 and putting a couple of those in as well. Um, also, putting in more sound effects, adding a couple new features in the game. For instance, a new feature would be, obviously, the new levels. Uh, this guy was kind of in my way, so I'm just going to kill him quick.
I don't know how well you can see the bullets, but even without it, it's not that great. Uh, here, if you can't read this, I'll read it to you. You've completed all three difficulties in the complete version of this game. You will now be given a code to unlock new levels. This will be added soon, uh, which is completely true. I'm going to have something right under, probably going to move tutorial down or tutorial up. And right under mission, I'm going to have this little thing called code. It's going to be a number pad, 0 through 9, and you click and you enter in a code. Probably three or four digit code. And, uh... If it's the right code, which you will be just given if you beat it on, uh, if you beat the mission, I'll probably do a code for a whole bunch of extra levels. And if you beat hard, I'll probably do something as well. Um, then again, it could be, uh, I'm not really sure yet. Hard may, uh, introduce one more level similar with a similar scheme because when I make the next three levels or four levels I'm going to do it a different type of color scheme that was more like factory industrial type thing all metal and whatnot I'm thinking about doing another one but more outdoory like uh, forest or desert type of thing so I'm probably going to be doing that instead so as soon as that comes up um, that's essentially it uh, if you have any ideas for a name, because I don't think Top Bounty will be sticking, or if you like the name Top Bounty, then uh, just say that in the comment section below. That'll kind of help. Uh, if you have any ideas for levels or um, add-ons to the game, uh, just suggest them. I'm looking into a way to make it multiplayer, but I don't know if I can do it. Uh, I am making this, this was made with Game Maker, and I do not have Game Maker Pro, so I'm try I wonder, I'm going to try and do some research to see if I can make a multiplayer version without buying Pro, and if I can, I'm definitely going to be doing that, even if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, still, it'd be pretty cool. So, uh, thanks for watching, and please comment below.